uh, I think I've got everything under control. You guys can go home if you'd like. Mom, are, are you sure? Absolutely. She's fine. We don't have to do anything. She doesn't need our help. She's always saying she's fine. Why are you always so mean? Your mom's such a sweetie. You don't know her. Neither do you. We're gonna get going. Sounds like a plan. Okay, well. I'm sorry. She lives in a shack for the crying out loud. She should give this house to us. I don't even think I know you anymore. Really. What is that supposed to mean? Your father dies. Your mother is mourning. All you could do is think about taking something else from her? She's fine. You heard her. Oh God, just ridiculous. You've been at it all night. Come to bed. I just can't fall asleep, honey. I'm, I keep thinking about that house, you know. My mom, she lives in that little creepy house and then you know she got she got that huge space empty i think she should give it just to us that's it we have a home that little place that we rent i mean our kids growing up right now they they need a bigger place to play oh you sound like your dad you have no one to impress you need to go see your mom stop this and go see your mom I'm going to bed. Oh, just a minute. Hey, you. Hey, Mom. Good to see you. Come on in. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, Mom, Samantha, Rush, we should talk. Oh, Samantha. Don't should. be dramatic, Mom. I'd like to see you, too. It's always so obvious. I know you don't approve of my lifestyle and you don't like me very much, but don't you love your mother just a little? I do, I do. I do love you. Uh, so that's where you live now? Yes. How do you like it? It is kind of cozy. I think so. So I thought maybe we can move into the big house, me and my family. What? Uh, it makes sense. I mean, grandchildren, your grandchildren will be around and you would be able to come and visit us anytime. Oh, I'll be able to come and visit anytime I want. Very big of you. Come on, I so mean, you don't use it. So why do you care? What do I care? What do you care? <sighs> Sometimes I can't believe I raised you. I think you should go. Oh, well, maybe I should. Maybe you should. Come in. Hey, Mom. I'm sorry I brought you cupcakes. Thank you. Put, why don't you set them over there on the sink? Well, I know I was wrong. And I apologize. I know he's still worrying for, for the dad, and I miss him a lot. Son, don't, don't worry about it. I, the past is the past, and uh, I just want to look at the future. Um, you know, I just, uh, I'm having problems with this phone. Do you think you could help me? Let me see. Great. Thank you, son. Um, I want to show you something. Can you 
go upstairs and get the uh, get my uh, scrapbook. Oh yeah, sure. Be right back. Where's that at? Uh, just at the top of the stairs. Oh okay. On that shelf. Yes. The black and white thing. Yes. Okay. What about it? I thought maybe if I showed you some things about your father and I and when you were growing up, it might help you to understand. I think I saw these pictures. Oh, wow. Is that Dad? Yes, that's your father. Wow. Yes, he was a wild guy back then. Yes, this was uh, when we used to uh, tour the country on the, uh, I think it was a green bus. Or that's the first... It was uh, very smoky, and uh, uh, we had a lot of fun. Wow! Traveled I can't believe this is my dad. I know he changed a lot over the years, um, mostly after you were born. Oh! And there's your dad when he uh, <laughs> sold out to the man. <laughs> you see, he, he looks a lot like you in his uh, shirt and tie. <laughs> That's how I remember him. Yeah. Well, this is how I remember him. Here. He was a handsome fellow back then. So much more carefree and, uh, and real. Honey, thanks so much for letting us move in here with the kids. I mean, it's going to be, you'll love it. This is the house where I grew up. It's going to be fun. You'll see. It's more room for us here. It, you will like it. It, it, it is going to be really fun here. Huh. Good morning. I brought breakfast. Oh, I'll just leave this here. Carry on. No.